The first note we'll cover is the honk. I like to think that the honk is the foundation note for everything that a goose does. All the other notes that you'll learn and progress with will be based off of being able to do the honk. So we might better talk about air presentation into the call because it's also as important as holding the call the proper way and putting it in your mouth the proper way. I tell people to put air into the call like you would if you were fogging your glasses. All the air comes from your diaphragm, comes up through over top of your tongue and into the call. Not filling your cheeks and then blowing the air into the call. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little demo for you on, on just the basics of how to put the air into the call before we move right to the honk. When you're blowing into the call, don't even try and finish the note to sound like a goose. You want to get that vibration from putting air into it from the air coming out of your diaphragm. All I'm doing there is bringing the air from my diaphragm and putting it in through the call. To finish that note, to get that snap on the end, if this is your tongue and this is the front of your tongue, you want to bring that tongue to the roof of your mouth as fast as you can to cut that air off. You don't want it to move slow and drag or you're going to have air escaping across the top and you'll get that slurry sound in the note. So you want to fog your glasses into the call and then bring your tongue up and slap it to the roof of your mouth. This is going to take a couple times to get that clean sound, but when you do, you'll, you'll notice it. So I'll do a couple honks and, and while I'm doing those honks, kind of imagine how you would bring that air across and then bring your tongue up and cut it off and you'll be able to hear the parts in the note where that's happening. And that's your basic honk. That's your foundation note. That's the one you want to start to learn and master before you even move on to everything else. Because you want to walk before you can run.